YouTube, welcome back, it's me Jay from Muscle Luck Gamers and today we're going to be playing the PC title Cloudberry Kingdom. Now this just dropped on Steam last week, uh, around the Thursday, Friday time uh, and I thought I'd pick it up and show it to you guys and see how it goes. It is one of the most interesting little indie games I've ever seen in terms of it is completely unique in terms of the fact that there is no set levels uh, the levels are randomly created, nobody's story mode will be the same as anybody else's they're all completely random and go up in varying difficulty um, I'm not going to show you the story mode this time because it's a bit slow to get going and I'm hoping that the arcade mode will give you guys a bit more of a feel because uh, you know I did about 30 levels in the story mode um, mainly waiting for it to get hard enough for it to be a challenge to put onto the YouTube channel and it just hasn't got there and I'm running out of time and need to get a video up so I thought well you know what we'll check out the arcade um, and see how that goes um, and that has some different elements to it as well where it gets a bit harder and hopefully if you guys enjoy this first video I'll do some more in the story and we'll see what we do but without further ado here we go so on to arcade mode for Cloudbury Kingdom and I press A to join. There's my character, Mr. Rastaman, with the silver and red cloak and black things. Now you can customize your character for whatever you like, so that's all cool. A little bit of customization never did any harm. And 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 it kind of reminds me of Super Meat Boy. This does. It's very much kind of the story isn't that important. It's not really. It's just you've got to save your girlfriend or supposed princess in this one. Uh, girlfriend, Super Meat Boy, and you have to go through challenging crises to do it. Um. So. So obviously these are the, what we will see as the level ups that you get as you go on and on. And so we'll just try a classic, we'll try a level one and see how we go. And you'll see just how the world changes. And if you was to get the game you'd quickly see Yes, I'm ready, let's go. And um, that this will be a totally different level to what you would have. Now I was hoping that this was gonna run a bit faster than this, but obviously not. You know, and I just always thought in the story mode oh, it's X, that's it. Okay, so you can see you've got these uh, different kind of things. You've got to collect the crystals, and um, it's not kind of a must, but if you complete them and collect them all, then ah, that's terrible. If you collect them all, then you get a perfect for the level. I don't know what happened there. He just didn't want to jump. There we go. If you get a perfect, you get some extra points, extra lives. There you go. Level 2 completed. Um, in the story mode, as it goes along, you get kind of a lot of different kits that you can use. Um, like, there's one that gives you a double jump. Um, there's some rocket ship ones as well, which gives you like a jetpack, so that's pretty cool. Um, it, it, you know, it's enough to vary the story mode quite a bit. But the problem with it is, it, is it's. It just doesn't feel like one of those, like Super Meat Boy, it was hard and, and you know, you, the bosses were different and each level was completely different. Whereas this one doesn't really feel like that, it feels like it does get harder, you know, but it tends to be the same repetitive stuff over and over again, um, which is a bit of a shame really. Um, like you do get these extra things that you could do and you could do a lot to the level to change it. Um, in the level editors, so if you do like, because every level's random um, and you and your friend won't necessarily get the same level to play at the same time um, it means that uh, it means that, you know, um, you can save the level at the end and send it to your friend, see if they can complete it, challenge them to do a better time than you so, you know, that's a nice aspect to it, but is it enough to keep you coming backwards and forwards? Well Mm, yeah, it kind of does and it kind of doesn't, you know, I think it, it's a good game in terms of what it is and for the price it's really, oh god, I nearly died. And for the price it's really good, it's around 7 UK pounds, so I don't know what's that, about $12, something like that. Um, so in, in those terms it's pretty cool. Um, I've got to jump back to get my, my gem, so you know, you could play it but it definitely kind of doesn't feel like a main game it, it more feels like a game that you play in between playing something else like I was playing it in between uh, waiting for the starting game for League of Legends or something else which was pretty cool so 
you know, I can't kind of get that as something to do. But as we go up, our multiplayer is going up, so that's cool. And um, that's not something that's included in the story mode. Um, it's just purely for arcade. I'm not really too sure even what it does, really. Apart from multiplayer score to die. Oh, Rasta Hat. Nearly got taken out there. Jump! Jump! Alright, we got a perfect, we just gotta survive the level, and there we go. So I've never actually seen these ice ones before. Oh, sugar. Ah, oh, I missed that one. That's the end of that now. It won't perfect this level by the looks of it. A bit disappointed about it, but what can you do? Um, it does have up to four player multiplayer as well. Um, I'm not sure how the multiplayer kind of plays out. It kind of gives you the option at the start to choose. I'm not sure if they're all played at the same on the screen at the same time. Uh, I kind of doubt it. Um, but you know the rest of it's pretty cool. So uh, I'd imagine that you'd probably take it in turns. But you know, without spec I can only speculate on that one. Um, it does have full controller support, well at least some controller support. Um, obviously not all the buttons are mapped out very well. Um, it doesn't let you edit the buttons, um, which is a bit of a pain on the ass. Um, but it does it's, it does recognise a wired controller being plugged into the PC, and uh, there's no kind of uh, configuration that you have to do a search. Um, which in a way is good, but in another way is completely stupid, because it doesn't let you configure what you want. Uh, you basically just get the A button as jump and the analog stick or the D-pad as uh, movement and uh, I think quick restarts on LB and RB as well um, which is pretty handy for story mode Ow! Whack my fingers off the table but As you can see as we go along you know you're getting varying difficulty up in itself You'll get some levels. You'll see that um, if you were to go to um, into the Steam shop and look at the trailers for this game, you'll see that some of the levels towards the end are completely insane. Um, I know that I'd never be able to do it <laughs> at all, um, but I think it will get some of those uh, speedrun aficionados in, uh, which I only just discovered about actually this weekend. I was on um, Twitch.tv. And uh, just checking it out during the day while I was waiting for one of my videos to render, and uh, I saw this guy giving a tutorial for Super Mario Sunshine um, on the Nintendo GameCube, I believe it was. And I can't. And he showed a load of levels where they like jump behind the scenes and all sorts. It was, it was crazy just to know that there was another part of this game that I had never really seen. Um, but these guys said obviously because they're trying to do it in the fastest time a lot of the time they don't actually complete the missions the way they're supposed to so that was the strangest thing ever but some of the strategy and stuff that those guys come up with is, is amazing oh no the bomb uh, this isn't working out too well this one isn't there you go there we go oh sugar I got an extra life, I just don't know what for. I don't think we're going to perfect this one. Music's pretty funky as well. It's a nice bit of techno housey kind of stuff. Oh, sugar. I don't think that was supposed to happen. What's going on there? I was trying to figure out if I needed to double jump, but you can't. The double jump is an extra ability! Christ's sake. So we lost a um, big massive multiplier, which wasn't very good. And also lost a load of lives. Messing about. I am going to grab that one. I think I might regret it. But. Right, I think we're going to land on this brick really well. No! Ok, 
Okay, you try and jump off the edge of it. There we go. No, don't hit me, leave me alone. Hey! That was pain. So you see some of the lasers, I know the lasers did come earlier in the game, but this is going to be about the first time it's actually going to threaten me with anything. Ah, uh, no, I missed that one diamond. It's a good job that I'm not much of a perfectionist when it comes to these games, otherwise I'd have some major issues playing this. <laughs> okay. Multiplier increased. Okay, so I think it physically increases over 10 levels. Oh! What? Yeah, usually you can jump on the flies, so I don't know what's going on there. Obviously you have to jump... Oh, there's a spike behind it. Maybe that's what it was. I squashed it that time. I was supposed to jump up when I hit that fly. It would have been faster. Yay! Oh god. Here we go. This is where it starts to get manic. Oh no! It very much reminds you of that game, the Awkward. Awkward platformer, I think it is. Unfair platformer, that's the one. Here we go, we gotta move while we can. Oh! I don't trust that one. Quickly move, quickly move. Okay, we did it. So that was the first one which I think actually timing came into place. That's it. Keep on moving. Come on, Rasta man, we can do it. There we go. Now I forgot where that other laser is, so I'm just gonna keep moving quickly. <laughs> Run, jump! Okay. We can do it. Ah, oh, that laser's messed up my run. I was going to say, the, the colourful graphics just look... Oh, we got a new hero, that's good. The colourful graphics look good. You know, I, I do like this cartoony kind of style on these kind of games. Um, you know, rather than the kind of 3D shaded ones. And I think, you know, he does the job of what he is. The customization was nice. You know, I don't necessarily think they needed to do it. Um, so, you know, in that response, I think it was good of them to add a bit of customization in. Time it. Oh, what's the matter with that block? It didn't want to jump for some strange reason. Okay, here we go. Jump! Must have been something about that green thing. Whee! 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 All right, times twelve. All oh, spikes. All right, I'm gonna wait for that other spike. Go, go, go! Go! Uh. Oh, am I gonna make? Oh, I just made it. What are you things? I'm not waiting to find out what you are. Oh, sugar, it's falling down too much. Okay, that's not too bad. Can do with that. Okay. Level 30. Oh, sugar. Thought we were going to die then. Get out of the way of this one. Out of the way of this one. Out of the way of this one. Yeah. Oh, they turned orange. Oh, sugar. 
didn't look too good. Yes, we can do it, Mr. Rastaman. We're gaining lives all the time, so we can't be doing that bad. Whee! Oh god. The time to jump. I think we're alright. Uh, the fly. Oh, that took a bit of concentration. Gotta land and then jump and then jump again. I didn't get that one. Oh sh! Oh, I messed it up. Damn it! Did I just lose my multiplayer? Ah. Uh. See that one bloody fly mess me ah oh, missed it. No Okay, there we go. Whee! Let's just bounce on here for a bit. Should we get that one? Avoid that spike. Oh, ah, ah. Ah, ah. That was terrible. <laughs> I had no control over that at all. And I didn't even know the game could even do that to me, so that's pretty uh, cool. <laughs> Don't get hit by the spike. Alright, so we're going to make sure we keep moving to the right on this one, otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. There we go. Whee! Oh god, snow! Yeah. Sorry for shouting down your ears, guys. It's <laughs> panicking a bit. Does the fly still work? The fly still works. Does the block still work? No. Okay, so those are a bit slower than before in the ice. Oh god. Oh, can I get it? Come on, there we go. We'll get you, laser. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, the laser. Oh, sugar. Uh, uh, I can't see anywhere to land. I feel a bit like Frogger. Oh, oh, I missed it. No chance of getting that one back. Woo! Multiplayer increase. I missed it again. It's been impatient, that is. Or impatient. Oh, the spike. I uh, made it. I'm alright, I think. I'm okay. Oh, just about managed to land on that. That one's not going to move, but that one is. So the green blocks around the edges don't seem to move at all. Oh, the bump! Ah. <laughs> so you've got one chance to move, otherwise it slows you down so much. Oh, come here, flight. You're going to have to die. Oh! Ah! Oh. Just lost my multiplayer again. I'm not taking the risk again. Forget that. At least I'll always be one behind now. There we go. Mess that up. It's a good job it's not timed this one. Determined to click them all.
Okay. I'm not too sure how I did that one, but I managed to do it. Come on. No! No! Why did I do that? I should have just carried on instead of losing the multiplayer. I don't know how long this arcade one goes on for, actually. <laughs> no! Oh, a spike. What was that? I've never seen that one before. It's like a ghost or something. Oh, I did it again. It's because you see the fly and you like, oh, I jump on the fly and then it just doesn't work out. <laughs> there we go. It's like a ghost block. Stay there, ghost block. Oh god. Ah! 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 Oh, I, that was terrible. Just got caught in between it. Ah. Ah. Come on, come on, come on. Duck. Jump. That's it. Get the last one. Level 46. Huh? I didn't actually jump then, I just fell off the ledge and luckily got it. Yeah, did that one first go. Come on. Here we go. Huh? Ah! There's bums. I did it again. Oh really, only 19 left, eh? Doing quite... I've done it again, but I managed to survive. Not really. Come on, Rasta man. Now. Oh yeah. Rasta man for the win. Don't you disappear, block. Uh, oh. oh, just, just, just survived. Phew. Great lasers. Okay, last one. There we go. New hero unlocked. Okay. So I don't know what that's about. The game surprises me more and more every time. Ah, oh, the ghost block got me. Uh. 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 No! Ah, oh, got stuck off that second ghost block. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh, that was my fault. I just were looking at the bloody level properly. Oh, did not like that. Oh, no, the black's gone. See, sometimes you've just got to go straight away. There is no time to wait. It doesn't work out if you don't. I've done it wrong again. 
I think this one might be the one, this one might have me. Ah! Jump! I was trying to get away from the spike and it just went happening. <gasps> Go on! That's it. Oh! Ah. I need it to come back. Uh. Uh, go away, Spike. I don't think I can jump to dodge it. Uh, what? What's happening? That's what I wanted. That bit, that bit. Yeah, I managed to survive. But I forgot about the next bit. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, I think we jumped this one. Dodge that one. Jump this again, then jump on. Oh, I survived somehow. I don't know how I've done it. Turns out you can actually jump on the thing as long as you just don't land on the spike. But you take the risk of falling off, <laughs> like I did then. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's going to get me or not. No, it's not. That's good. But that can. Okay. Okay. Learning. We haven't got many lives to do it with though. I refuse to be stuck on you! Ah! Come on! Dodge it this time. Oh shit, I jumped the wrong way. <laughs> it's going all downhill now. It's just more and more, worse and worse every time. Uh, I don't know, it's dodging them big balloon bomb things. And probably the fact that the music is getting bloody louder in my ear. <laughs> come on, go on. That's it, that's it. Oh, it turned ghost at the last second. What is that about? Down to seven lives. We're not gonna do it. You can't get me, but that can. <laughs> oh! I bet you this is like the simplest bit for anybody else. If anyone else is on the same level. <laughs> ah! Oh! Jumped over the spike and got hit by the balloon. That is just ridiculous. Right, I'm gonna get you blue thing. You are mine. Right, good dodge. One more time. Thing comes back. Oh, jumped off the platform. Why is this happening? Why? Why? Right, just spike go down. Spike go down. Ah, oh, the balloon. I can't dodge the bloody balloon. Just missed the cycle twice. What? Okay, it's gone back now. Yeah, that's it. Ah! Getting an extra bloody life. That really, really helps. Jump! Jump! No! Ah! Oh, I didn't see it. The balloon hit it. Ah! Oh, the flames. We just gotta be fearless. Oh! I dodged it. Yes! No! Yes! Maybe! Don't disappear, ghost! No! <laughs> oh, come on! Give me a break! Fearless! Jump! Jump! Hide! No! Bloody block! Right, fearless jump! Jump again, jump again, onto the block, jump onto the ghost, jump over, jump onto that. And, oh, how long does it go on for? I've only got one bloody life left, this is doing my head in. Come on, we can do it this time, we can't. Last one. Oh, come on, Rasta Man, we can do it. We can do it, Rasta Man.
jump. No. <laughs> oh wait, we need a fish alive from somewhere. What's that about? Come on, is that incredible luck, or is it just to torture me more? Oh, it exploded. Oh, well, fuck you, game. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, that was. Uh, Cloudberry Kingdom. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I didn't because it's terrible. Well, nah, it's really fun, really, but you know, level 50 is high, get to an arcade. Um, I'm gonna play a bit more of the story mode and see if I can get to some of the harder levels and then we'll see if we can run through that a little bit as well, just to show you that what how that kind of levels up as well. So you can make a good decision on whether you want to buy it, whether you're gonna enjoy it. But pretty much, if you enjoyed Super Meat Boy, you're gonna enjoy this game, and for seven quid, you can't really go wrong. Even if you only play it once in a while when you've only got five minutes, it is one of those pick up and play games that you can just pick up at any time, customize your character, and then off you go. So, you know, that's just brilliant, and that's what I like to see in a game. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like below, and um, also leave me a comment if you want to just tell me anything, or if you've got any help for how to get past these bloody little balloon spiky things, which, as you can see, are still going around in the background torturing me. Um, I've took my earphones out because the noise is actually like drilling a hole in my head but apart from that I, you know I'm alright I'll, I'll recover so for some more in a few more days or something like that you just give it a little break yeah just go to have a little bit of therapy a bit of deep breathing and relaxing and then come back to it um, and if you want to find out when the next video comes out it probably won't be this but the next video will be out very very soon and you can also subscribe that would be brilliant as well love you guys and see you on the next video Bye.